Welcome back guys to Half-Life Souls Walkthrough by 27 Acer Run or Toby as you as you might call me. And yeah, we are at chapter two now. Anomalous materials and we are at Black Mesa Lobby hey, Mr. Freeman, in Sector C. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about twenty minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Alright, that's good to know. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Oh, fine. I must remember to report How can you situation? await for an important message if the computer is closed? Isn't it supposed to be on? And you are sitting there, standing there, and waiting, and not shut down a computer. And then, well, how am, how are you supposed to know that it's coming a message or something? As I expected. Hmm. Wait a second. My God, hey, what are that? you doing? <laughs> I don't know if you got that. Yeah. It's the G man. Well, so as a lot of people wonders who is G man, but nobody knows, and we will ah, never find hello, out. Oh, Gordon Freeman, it's good to see you. Oh, hello, random guy. It's good to see you too. <coughs> My God, what are you doing? Okay, oh, yeah, just don't know what's going on right now. No smoking area. I am heading down for my suit, but this is a uh, living room. Good it's good to see you too. Um, thing. <laughs> my God, what are you doing? What I'm doing, I'm cooking noodles. Well, uh, this is not my noodles. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Um, why are you asking me? Um, yeah. My um, fan, yeah. If um, some fans in Steam, I am um, are doing something, yeah, it will show up. And if they send me a message, I just told them not to do that because I'm recording. So never mind about that. God damn, I told him to shut up. <clears throat> I'm in the barrel? Okay. Then you are in the crate. You are in the box. Oh, where is safe day? Okay, thank you. Top side temperature is 93 degrees. God, it's hot. Oh, okay, that was kind of. Uh, very stupid. <laughs> Greetings. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> grab the ladder though. <laughs> well, maybe because I. Uh, just never mind about that. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. 
Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. I asked my friend not shutting up. Okay. <clears throat> Quick, it's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Of course, it's not meant to break apart like the oh. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Why are you talking about that right now? We are having technical problems. We are talking about these. This uniform swing. Hey guys, we have technical problems over here. Mind on helping? Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Yeah, the. Oh my god. I don't care. I don't care that their computers are exploding or something. Ah. <sighs> Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't <coughs> need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Okay, this is the giant laser thing <clears throat> and we going to activate this testing testing everything seems to be in order all right gordon your suit should keep you comfortable through all this the specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments if you would be so good as to climb up Start Climb up, I'm already I already done that. What's the computer play so high I can't see what's going on? And why does this thing have to be so big? Um, <clears throat> um, we cannot predict how long the system can this thing's floating. Nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Work as quick work as quickly as you can. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna work faster than nothing. If I'm not supposed to do if I, I'm supposed to do nothing, so uh, I'm gonna do it fast. Well, probably, but uh. I'm showing a small discrepancy. In, well, no, it's well within exception. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Come here, Gordon. Get away. From Didn't even put it into the laser. Ow. No. Let's just 
Not good. Not good at all. <coughs> Let me out. Come on. Come on. Let me out. Let me out of here. Please. Jesus. Okay, this. Oh my god. I'm an exit. What the? Body guns. Who are you looking at? I'm, I'm over here. <laughs> <coughs> Unfos and now we are starting at chapter 3 Unforeseen Consequences. And yeah, this will also be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.